All right, this is Westbrook Graveyard Shift, coming in at 7% alcohol by volume. A four-pack of 16-ounce cans were new, about $19. This is by far the most expensive um, beer per ounce that has been displayed on my review show. I um, see in the Pale Ale. I had this last year, but that was before I was doing any video or written reviews or anything. I thought, hey, let's, since I'm doing this now, let's pick up a, a four pack and I can also have the rest when it's actually Halloween time. So, <coughs> I guess we can get into it. Get one last look at that gorgeous can. Really cool stuff. Okay. Yeah, that is very, 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 very hazy. You can't see through it at all. Give it a smell. Yeah, you pick up the IPA citrus stuff, like, very, 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 very heavily. So, um, as far as, like, horror movie stuff goes, like... I'm not exactly the type of person that um, searches out to watch horror movies exactly, but whenever one's on, or when it's this time of year, um, like I really enjoy them. Like I have all the Friday the 13th movies on Blu-ray. I have all the Saw movies on Blu-ray. Um, you know, I've seen a couple of the Friday the 13ths. I've seen a couple of the Halloweens. Um, I mean, just... Oh, so great. Just a couple weeks ago, or maybe like a month ago, I watched, well, I rewatched the uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre from 1974. Uh, absolutely just a, a masterpiece of horror. Great stuff. I talk about that somewhere else on the internet, but um, I like a lot of horror video games like Dead by Daylight, Friday 13th, the game, you know, stuff like that. So, And... I do plan on uh, going as Michael Myers this Halloween to pick up some candy. Um, I, I have a mask on hand, and if you put a mask on, people have no idea what's going on. They'll, they'll just give you free candy. So, anyways, back to the beer, right? Is it worth the price? Because I don't remember what this tasted like from a year ago, so... It's, bas it's basically new to me. So yeah, sm smells like an IPA. Give it a taste. Whoa. That hits you, man. That hits you. Yeah, I mean, just... Basically, your standard, you know, kind of hazy IPA. Like very citrusy. Um, very hoppy. As far as, like, drinkability, mm, if you just got this, this four-pack, you could get it down, and the 7% is great. But I think one of the one of the things about my reviews here is like before I started them, I was really big into, into a lot of IPAs and and that and ice beers, but mostly just to get like you know get tore up essentially, right? Um, I'm I'm falling back more into like lagers and lighter beers, you know, so. The kind of beers I would drink a couple years ago. It's not, not stuff I would drink now all the time. So. It's a good beer. But not something I would really. Like sought after. 
yeah, again, it's 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 citrusy, it's drinkable. Um, yeah, you you could you could easily get down the four pack of this. It's not bad. But just my personal preference these days, not something I would really, like, go after. But um, I like the gimmick. It, it is a local a local beer. And um, I don't know if I'd get it again next year, though. Like, the can is great. I'll try to save on to it, but... Oh, man, they have another beer as well that's Halloween-themed. And it straight up tastes like Snicker bars. It really does. But the can's not as cool. And I had a sip of that one last year, so... Oh, man. <laughs> I'm now regretting not getting the one that tastes like a Snickers candy bar. Which would have been a higher rating, I think. Anyways, um... This is Westbrook Graveyard Shift. I absolutely adore the can. As far as the actual product goes, very, very, very pricey. And the taste is kind of average. I'm going to give it a 3.5 out of 5. I think this will be my last time purchasing the Graveyard Shift. I will enjoy it. Uh, the rest of the cans for Halloween. I think that'll do it. There are other beer that tastes like Snickers bars. I, uh, I'll, tr I'll try to do that, <laughs> you know, down the road or something. All right, guys. Westbrook Graveyard Chef gets 3.5 out of 5.